Nurk, how'd you feel your first game went? We're going to start out with Jason Quick with the Athletic. Nurk, how'd you feel your first game went? I always feel great with a win. But, you know, I think my win was great. You know, obviously the, the restriction was 20 minutes. And we almost got there. But, you know, they just I know Dan was out. And I was trying to get Norm going. Just to have a guys, you know, get going and try to see screens and make the right plays. You know, a little adjustment with my thumb and and, uh, and uh, whatever I got my my thumb. But it's all good. You know, I felt great out there. You know, I've been blessed to recover well. And now just a uh, really perfect time for me. All right, next question is coming from AJ McCord with Coin. What was the hardest part about getting back on the court? You said there's something, you still have to wear stuff for your thumb. Yeah, I got like a splint, like protection. So you got to get, I guess, used to or just to have a couple games in and they try to take her off. You know, I feel like I'm struggling with that, with the holding the ball with the one hand. And, but, you know, I got to have protection for that. But, you know, obviously I've been clear out from the doctor's standpoint, but just something. I really think it's it's hard to get a hit on and, and keep playing. So that was we really trying to figure out what you know line, kind of protection for for them for the area. Next question is coming from Aaron Ventress with the Oregonian. Hey Nurk, uh, Cancer and McCullum talked the other day about how excited you were starting to become as you got closer to playing. And they also talked about how sometimes you were down during the whole process. Can you talk a little bit about what you went through sitting out and how you maybe started to get a little excited as you knew at the time was cl coming close to play? To be honest, I didn't even know I'm going to play in this trip. Um, that's how, you know, I was taking serious day by day. Um, just because I, I don't know, sometimes it's, you know, feel right. Um, I have a little, you know, calf strain at some point. Uh, kind of overdid it, you know, with the, with the rehab process. We just overdid it. And then and when you happen that, you can control that really and happen something, then you, you know, just don't like it. And it's a setback. You, you probably wish you did different, but, um, you know, obviously there's something later after my calf, I just didn't, the more I was doing basketball and, you know, with the COVID stuff, we don't have practices and <laughs> it's not a thing when you can get out there, you got to go to the games. So being on a road trip and then, you know, feeling kind of one or two practice with the young guys. Um, you know, it was, it was kind of just the thing you gotta, you gotta understand it's not going to be easy, but I'm glad I did it. So, you know, I know it's not, you know, I tried to not force it just, to, you know, play the right way. And I think I moved really good. So I, I like how I was moving out there and, and the way, you know, just the way we play, we find a way to win the game. Obviously we would like to win more easier, but I take any win, man. How long ago could you have come back if not for the calf? I can't even know that, but that was like something, you know, obviously the, the risk was kind of worried more about it just to, you know, the motion coming back and you can't really force it motion. You got to go with the workouts and, and rehab. But, um, you know, I think I was pretty much on the, on the same, you know, timeline with the wrist and calf. Don't really matter what, you know, even with the out, but I would like if I didn't get it, that one. But I think I it pretty much be in the same timeline. Next question is coming from Casey Holdall with Trailblazers.com. Uh, Yusuf, uh, what did you think about playing with Norman? Uh, how did you feel like uh, like you, you messed with him and, and just your general thoughts on, on, on having him on the team? You know, it's just like you said, it's business. And um, I, I like him a lot. You know, obviously, you know, have some people close to know him better than me. And that's why I really try to focus him on the first play of the game. I told him to kind of go, you know, after he passed me in a block to come to, to get a ball back. So just to try to get him going and try to get him, as, you know, because he already was playing. I was missing like a month or two, whatever, with the injury. So I'm trying to get the guy who already been hooping in different team, try to just enjoy the, the time with us because I know we're not going to run a lot of places, especially when I'm out there. We can move the ball more. You know, we were struggling with the, with the assist and defense. And I think we did a pretty good job tonight with that. Next question is coming from Nick Karpke with KPTV. 
Nurk, from your vantage point the last couple of months, seeing the team from the other side on the bench, great suits, by the way, what do you see that this team can do now with this final push towards playoff time? I think it's a different situation than in the past. The, the injuries kind of, you know, even happened, but it was kind of lucky injuries too. Nothing too serious, and and we have a time to heal, and, and you know, we want to be the healthiest possible for the playoffs, right? So I think we don't fear the nobody in the league, but we just got to know we got to stay healthy and just, you know, grind. You know, I think we are underdogs wherever we go, and whether we trades or not, we, we kind of, you know, have that mentality and just try to be, um, the best as, as, as we can get healthier, right? And I think the timing was perfect. We, we're right now coming back and everybody getting wins and, and, and um, win back and just to be healthy as possible. As far as what they did, it was tremendous. You know, shout out to everybody, you know, especially the second unit step up and Gary, Hoodie, everybody was doing the, the right way. And we have some tremendous wins, even though everybody was nuts on, on defense and the way we was winning, but like, like I have said before, I will take any win, and especially Ennis and, and Gary and all the guys really did the day part. Jamie Hudson, NBC Sports Northwest. Nurki just mentioned Ennis, and I know he's been really excited for your return. How would you describe, though, how he performed while you were out? Yeah, he was telling me every day, you got to come back, got to come back. <laughs> Uh, it was fun. I think it was really fun to watch him to play he, the way he was playing. You know, obviously, when you're the only one big guy in the team, you're going to play a lot of minutes, have a lot of opportunity in the team. So I think he did a tremendous job. You know, you know I think I, I told him every day that, was, you know, he was playing great. Um, but I think he getting tired of the hits and the, the minutes and everything. So he was just coming up to me and said, Nurk, you're back. I said, one more game <laughs> the last two weeks. But he was doing a great job. So you know, I'm happy, really. And last questions coming from Jason Quick with the Athletic. Eric, there was a couple times tonight where you came out on the perimeter and trapped. And coach said that wasn't necessarily by design. Uh, what's going through your head when you when you go out and trap like that? I was not. I did them on, on purpose. On, you know, I kind of decided to do it because, I, you know, I was on the sideline for the last two months. And I see, you know, with the NS being back and we, you know, mellow at the five, you know, we kind of struggle to be aggressive defensively. Um, obviously, the guy, this team, uh, trade a lot of guys and kind of turn the ship whatever, whatever, where they want to go. So I thought really the... The being aggressive on their guards, they didn't see that type of defense, and that, you know I was just trying to see what they what they're gonna do. And I think you know, well, a couple of times I was blitzing, they have turnovers and stuff. So mm -hmm. I think we gotta be more aggressive team, and you know I'm big part of our defense where we wanna go, and I think I can change that again. So to me. You know, obviously, coach give us a freedom, but with the natives and the assistant coaches, I think we can figure out something that we, you know, getting um, for the second half of the season really better defensively because we have assets to do that. I think just becoming a little bit lazy and, and not doing communication right. So I think, you know, being that, because we talk about all of the defense, obviously, but we got to do something about it. So I really try to step, you know, with the voice and then, for example, to do it, you know, on my own. And Rocco was having big time plays in defense offense tonight. So we have some pieces really good to be defensive team, but we're going to take some really action and effort to do it. All right. Thanks, Nick. We have Norman in the wing. Hey.